August 22nd, 2023, Psalm 83. O God, do not remain quiet, do not be silent, and O God, do not be still, for behold, your enemies might in uproar, and those who hate you have exalted themselves. They have shrewd plans against your people and conspired together against your treasured ones. They have said, Come. And let us wipe them out as a nation, that the name of Israel be remembered no more. For they have conspired together with one mind against you. They will make a covenant. The tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites, Moab and Hagrites, Gebel and Ammon and Amalek, Philistia with the inhabitants of Tyr, Assyria also has joined with them. They have become a lot. They have become a help to the children of Lot. Deal with them as with Midian, as with Caesarea, and Jabin, at the turret, turret of Kishon. We were destroyed at Endor, who become as dung for the ground. Make their nobles like Oreb and Zeb, and all their princes like Zeba and Zalmanna, who said, Let us possess for ourselves the pastures of God. O oh my God, make them like the whirling dust, the tumbleweed like chaff before the wind, like fire that burns the forest, and like a flame that sets the mountains on fire. So pursue them with your tempest, and terrify them with your storm. Fill their faces with dishonor, that they may seek your name, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and dismayed forever, and let them be humiliated and perished. That they may know that you alone, whose name is the Lord, are the Most High over all the earth. Proverbs 22. A good name is to be more desired than great wealth. Favor is better than silver and gold. The rich and the poor have a common bond. The Lord is the maker of them all. The prudent sees the evil and hides himself, but the naive go on and are punished for it. The reward of humility and the fear of the Lord are riches, honor, and life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the perverse. He who guards himself will be far from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, even when he is old, he will not depart from it. The rich rules over the poor, and the borrower becomes the lender's slave. He who sows iniquity will reap vanity, and the rod is of his fury will perish. He who is generous will be blessed, for he gives some of his food to the poor. Drive out the scoffer and contention will go out. Even strife and dishonor will cease. He who loves purity of heart, and whose speech is gracious, the king is his friend. The eyes of the Lord preserve knowledge, but he overthrows the words of the treacherous man. The sluggard says, There is a lion outside. I will be killed in the streets. The mouth of an adulteress is a deep pit. He who is cursed, he who is cursed of the Lord will fall into it. Foolishness is bound up in the heart of a child. The rod of discipline will remove it, remove it far from him. He who oppresses the poor to make more for himself or who gives to the rich will only come to poverty. Incline your ear and hear the words of the wise and apply your know your mind to my knowledge. For it will be pleasant if you keep them within you, that they may be ready on your lips so that your trust may be in the Lord. I have taught you today, even you, have I not written to you excellent things of counsels and knowledge to make you know the certainty of the words of truth that you may correctly answer him who sent you. Do not rob the poor because he is poor, or crush the afflicted at the gate. For the Lord will plead their case and take the life of those who rob them. Do not associate with a man given to anger, or go with a hot-tempered man, or you will learn his ways and find a snare for yourself. Do not be among those who give pledges, among those who become grantors for debts. If you have, some, if you have nothing with which to pay, why should he take your bed from you, from under you? Do not move the ancient boundary which your fathers have set. You see a man skilled in his work. He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. John 13. Now before the feast of the Passover, Jesus knew that his name, that his hour had come, that he would depart out of this world to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. 
And during supper, the devil, having already put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, to betray him, Jesus knew that the, the Father had given all things into his hand, and that he had come forth from God and was given back to God, got up from supper and laid aside his garments, and taking a towel, he girded himself. Then he poured water into the basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel with which he was girded. He, so he came to Simon Peter, he said to him, Lord, do you wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I do you do not realize now, but you will understand hereafter. Peter said to him, Never shall you wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I do not wash you, you have no part with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, then wash not only my feet, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, He who has bathed needs only to wash his feet, but is completely clean. And you are clean, but not all of you. For he knew the one who was betraying him for this reason, he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet and taken his garments and reclined at the table again, he said to them, Do you know what I have done for you? to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. If I then, the Lord and the teacher, washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I gave you an example that you also should do as I did to you. Truly, truly, I say to you, a slave is not greater than his master, nor is one who is sent greater than the one who sent him. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. I do not speak of all of you. I know the ones I have chosen, but it is that the scripture may be fulfilled. He who eats my bread has lifted up his heel against me. For now on I am telling you before it comes to pass, so that when it, do, when it does occur, you may believe that I am he. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who receives whomever I send receives me, and he who receives me receives whom who sent me. When Jesus had said this, he became troubled in spirit and testified and said, Truly, truly, I say to you, that one of you will betray me. The disciples began looking at one another at a loss to know of which one he was speaking. There was reclining on Jesus' bosom one of his disciples whom Jesus loved. So Simon Peter gestured to him and said to him, Tell us who it is of whom he is speaking. He, leaning back thus on Jesus' bosom, said to him, Lord, who is it? Jesus then answered, That is the one for whom I shall dip the morsel and give it to him. So when he had dipped the morsel, he took and gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. After the morsel, Satan then entered into him. Therefore Jesus said to him, What you do, do quickly. Now no one of those reclining at the table knew for what purpose he had said this to him. For some were supposed, supposing because Judas had the money box that Jesus was saying to him, Buy the things we have need of for the feast, or else that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the morsel, he went out immediately and at and it was night. Therefore, when he had gone out, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him immediately. Little children, I am with you a little while longer. You will seek me, and as I said to the Jews, now I also say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, even as I have loved you that you also love one another. By this all men will know that you are my disciples, if you love, if you have love for one another. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered, Where I go, you cannot follow me now, but you will follow later. Peter said to him, Lord, why can I not follow you right now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Truly, truly, I say to you, a rooster will not crow until you deny me three times. John 13.